online alcohol and recreational drug use by teens is back on the rise. A new study from the Partnership for a Drug-Free America found the number of high schoolers who admit to drinking rose 11 percent last year, marijuana use up 6 percent. Heading to the summer when teens have more time on their hands, drug and alcohol experts warn parents aren't taking substance abuse seriously enough, and that can have deadly consequences. Female students apparently made a pact to get pregnant together. Nearly half of the 17 pregnant teenagers at Gloucester High School north of Boston apparently decided to get pregnant and raise their babies together. Police in Western Massachusetts are investigating an apparent suicide by a teenage girl and the role cyberbullying may have played. Two years ago, 16-year-old Corey Vadsgar took a rifle to his high school and held 23 classmates hostage. In the chest, pushed in the back, called an idiot, called a loser, been written on marker on his face. Uh, why don't you welcome our new student ministries director, Mike Elkins. Yes. Dude, that was a powerful video. He put that together, by the way. That was a really powerful video, so I have a question for you. So in light of, uh, obviously, the incredible need that exists with students, what's up with, and you get hired as student ministries director, and then, like, almost first moved is uh, suspend meeting at, as a youth group. Uh, so how would you figure that out, man? What, what's behind that? Yeah, that's a pretty good question. Um, actually, there's there's two reasons. Uh, the first reason is we are always looking for more effective ways, uh, new, fresh ways, basically, to do student ministry uh, here at Connections. Um, one thing that I love about here is that we're always open to new ideas. Um, and so we wanted to take the time and energy that we were using to keeping what was going into really something just completely new, completely fresh. and. Part of that is, is suspending that for a period because the time and energy that was going to that is now completely going to something new. And we really think that will help us gain that momentum that we're shooting Okay, for. so it's like we should all know you actually are working? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do work. work. Okay. I do work. Okay, guys. Um, so here's my question for you. Why put that energy into launching something new as opposed to just kind of keep going what was there to begin with? Yeah, like I was saying, that's one of the cool things about here is that we're outside of the box thinkers. We're always looking for something new. Um, and so what we've been doing is really been strategizing. Uh, we've been looking at other models. Uh, we've been brainstorming. We've been getting feedback from students, from parents, uh, from school people. Um, and we've just been getting to know the students, getting to know the kids. And, and really just an effort to make that new thing something exciting and to build an anticipation. And we think that'll help us do that. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that you come to understand is that if you really want to get momentum or traction, something new helps you get that, right. you know, probably most significantly. Well, you, you said there's a couple of reasons why we kind of suspended it for a few weeks. What's the other reason? Uh, the simple fact that we wanted to create some buzz. Um, and that's shown by the fact that we're talking about it. Um, and, and so we've had things like um, word of mouth, those types of things. But any, any company, any organization that you'll see... <coughs> They, they have this launch, pre-launch period. Um, for instance, the Apple. How many of you have heard of the iPad? <laughs> Anybody heard of it? The fact is that no, nobody here owns one because it doesn't come out until April 3rd. And, but what, yet what they've done is they've taken an idea, a concept, and they've basically set this time of anticipation, uh, this time of excitement, so people, when it comes out April 3rd, will be lined up to go get one of these things. They'll be back ordered, all this stuff, just because they simply set that anticipation time. And what they, what they don't do is launch it and then try to build anticipation. 
Good. And so that's, that's what we really feel will help us is to students maybe miss it already, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it, it is, it's just that time where they say, well, April 11th is coming, and then it, it happens. Yeah. Then. Buzz is definitely a huge, huge deal. What are some of the things you're doing to try to create some buzz, Mike? Well, what we've been doing, as a lot of you have seen as you walk by the cafeteria, we have uh, the road signs. Those, a lot of people ask me about them, they were not stolen. Yeah, like, where'd, where'd you get them? <laughs> That's the first question I always get, like people laugh like, where'd you get those? A <laughs> late reality last night. Um, they weren't stolen, I promise. Uh, so we've been doing that, we have the signs down there and people have just been asking. Um, different, different tools on Facebook that we've been using just to update with dates and, and what's coming and that type of thing. Uh, going to different schools, FCAs, um, talking with students, talking with teachers, trying to get some feedback there. Um, the, honestly, the biggest thing though is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. I'll have people come up to me and ask me about it that I know I haven't talked to about it and, and maybe even haven't been in a service and seen one of our promotional videos that we've been doing. And it's simply because someone maybe said something to maybe somebody else and now people are kind of talking about it. And so that's really the biggest thing. And we've also been just uh, talking with students and parents one-on-one -on -one just to kind of see what's going right. on. So, so we're, we're pouring a lot of creative energy into the relaunch of the new a new student ministry, Elevate, actually, which is going to be yes. the name of it, and then taking the time to create all this buzz. What are you hoping that Elevate will accomplish, Mike? Yeah, that's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have time. We have about all 30 <laughs> seconds to go. Um, I, I love the concept and I love the philosophy of our church as a whole. Um, connecting people to God, connecting people to their purpose, and connecting people to others. And, and really, our student ministry model mimics that because mm -hmm. It's all one thing. It's not like we have the church and then we have youth church. It, it, we're all a part of this thing together. And so we wanted to continue that same purpose. We want students to connect to God. We want students to connect to their purpose. And we want students to connect with each other and others. Um, and there's all sorts of things that, that we're doing to try to accomplish that. Um, and so it, it boils down to this. Given the facts that we've been given, obviously there's some things going on. We want to introduce students to Jesus. Because I can talk to them until I'm blue in the face. But the fact of the matter is, a relationship with God is the only thing that's really going to change anything. And so, if they already have a relationship with Jesus, then we just want to help them to be able to develop that. And, and yeah, I would love to hang out with 300 kids every Sunday night. And that may happen, but if life change is happening, then that's a good thing. And it, it'll take some time. I mean, it, something doesn't get like this overnight, and something isn't going to be fixed completely overnight. And so we're really just trying to change that, that culture. Awesome. That's a, great, that's a great vision. Would you be joining us as we, as we work together, as we pray together, that when Elevate launches on the 11th of April, that it will attract a number of students. But even more than that, that it might be the beginning of something powerful and something revolutionary. As you've heard us say many times here at Connections, the best way to change the future is to change the lives of the people who will write the future, the next generation. And so just be praying with us that as we begin this new venture, this relaunch of student ministries, Elevate, that God's hand and grace will be all over it and that it will help reach in our corner of the world a generation for Jesus.